Hello everyone. Today, we are going to learn about the instruments in the geometry box. First, let us learn about the scale. The scale is used to measure length and draw straight lines. Usually, all lines drawn using a scale use the zero mark as the starting point. Let us take this as point A. In order to draw a straight line, we mark a point at the desired length of the scale. Let us draw a line at 7 cm. Therefore, let us mark point B at the 7th cm mark of the scale. Now, the line drawn between point A and point B is straight and is of the length 7 cm. If a scale is damaged or doesn't have zero marking, then we can start from any other marking. Here, we are drawing a line from 2 cm to 8.4 cm. If we subtract 2 cm from 8.4 cm, we get 6.4 cm. Hence, the line we have drawn is 6.4 cm. Using a scale, we are able to draw lines of various lengths. Scales have two different measurement units marked along its two edges. One edge of the scale is marked in centimeters and the other edge in inches. The edges can be used to measure length in the corresponding units. With the help of the edges of a scale, we can also draw parallel lines. A scale can also be used to check if a curve has a straight portion or not. Next, let us learn about the protractor. This instrument in the geometry box is used to measure or construct any angle. Now, how do we construct an angle of 30 degrees? Let us mark two points, A and B, and join them using a scale. How do we construct an angle of 30 degrees at A? Keep the protractor's center point aligned with point A and keep the zero degree line or reference line of the protractor on the line segment AB. From AB, mark a point at a 30 degree angle at C. Now, join the points A and C using a scale. Using the protractor, we have drawn a 30 degree angle. Protractor can also be used to measure any random angle given to us. Let us use our protractor to find the mystery angle C. Keep the protractor center point at C and align the reference line of the protractor with the one arm of the angle. Check the marking at the other arm of the angle. Here, the other arm passes through the 50 degree mark on our protractor. Hence, the mystery angle is 50 degrees. Using a protractor, we can start measuring any angle, not only from zero degrees, but from any other angle marking as our reference. Can you measure an angle by aligning one arm of the angle with a 10 degree line in the protractor? Try this out. Now, let us learn to use the set squares. There are two set squares in a geometry box. The first set square has a 90 degree and two 45 degree angles. The second set square has a 90 degree, 60 degree and 30 degree angle. Set square can be used to draw angles of 30, 45, 60 and 90 degrees quickly. Let us see how. Draw a line from point A to point B. Now, if we need to make a 30 degree angle at A, we use a 30, 60, 90 degree set square. Now, if we need to make a 45 degree angle, we use a 45, 45, 90 degree set square. Using the 45 degree angle of the set square, we can easily create the angle. Similarly, if we need to create a 60 degree angle, we use a 30, 60, 90 degree set square. This is how set squares make constructing angles very easy. It is also possible to draw 15 degree angles using the set square. Try it out. For a given line segment, we can draw many perpendicular lines using the set square. Place the scale along the line segment. Then, place the set square along the scale to get a perpendicular line to the given line segment. 
Using the scale and the set square, we can also draw parallel lines. Now, let us place the set square along the line segment. Place the scale along the other edge of the set square. Move the set square along the scale. Now, using the set square, you can draw parallel lines to the given line. Can you draw two or three parallel lines four centimeters apart? Now, what about the compass? A compass is an instrument used to construct a circle or arc or to measure the distance between two points. Place the pencil in the compass as shown. The tip of the pencil should touch the compass tip or be in level with it. Now, let us construct a circle of radius 5 cm with point A as its center. In order to do so, we need to place the compass on the zero mark of the scale and adjust the arms of the compass until the tip of the pencil is at a 5 cm marking. Now, place the compass tip on A and rotate it so that it creates a circle in this manner. The circle we have created will have a radius of 5 cm or the diameter of the circle is 10 cm. In the same manner, we can measure or transfer the length of a line segment. We can also draw an arc of the required radii. Let us learn about the divider. Divider has two pointed tips that will help us to compare lengths. Let us see how to measure the length of a line segment. Adjust the arms of the divider and place the two pointers at both endpoints of the line segment. Place the divider with the measured length on a scale to find the length. Divider can also be used to compare the lengths of line segments. To compare these line segments with AB, move it across the different line segments. Is it always possible to measure length using the scale? Looks like we have learned about some uses of the instruments in the geometry box. Let us quickly recap. Scale is used for drawing straight lines and parallel lines. A scale should not be used to draw a perpendicular line using the short and long edges. The protractor is used to measure and draw lines at required angles. The set square is used to draw parallel and perpendicular lines. It can also be used to measure the height of a triangle and measure the distance between two parallel lines. A set square can also be used to find the center of a circle without doing any paper folding. The compass is used for drawing circles and arcs. The divider is used for comparing lengths and to find the distance between two points. A divider is also used to mark the points at a distance on multiple lines.